In this video, I'm going to show you how you can deploy this application, which is a local deep researcher with AI that you can have that locally integrated in your own system with your own language models and even have that end-to-end -end running on your own local machine. So before I actually run this application and show it to you, I want to show you a little bit on how do I grab the repo, how do I execute this application, and what are some backend architecture of how this deep researcher is actually working. So let me start with this quick diagram that shows the, the whole architecture from high-level stance points of this local deep researcher. Technically, as you do, usually you start with your own research query, and there's a research controller on backend that define how many iterations of follow-up research is needed to augment your final report, which is your research page report. And for source of data, there is a search engine selector. You can have these choices are specified for you. Let's say I want to have my research just based on Wikipedia or ARCs IV or PubMed. Or even you can have that just based on local rack. That means you can have this researcher running on just on your own local document without necessarily even going to web. And last but not least, you can have it all end-to-end -end by a local language model, which for this demo we actually used a Llama to pull Llama or you can have that connected with cloud uh, language providers or cloud providers like Cloud, GPT, Gemini, so on and so forth. And then lastly, you have the output generated for you, which can be also downloaded as PDF. Now, for the whole flow of this deep research, you have the control on how many times you want to create a follow-up question by a language model to go and search internet to augment your research. So that means if you specify a high number, you will have the higher chance of having more thoughtful and more detail-oriented research report when you're done with the application and you can get the final outcome back and retrieve to you. Now, if you want to have this deep research mode just on your local documents, like local rack, the process is very similar like generic rack. Technically, you have this type of file supported, the whole generic process of chunking and embedding a document and it creates a face vector database as an open source local vector DB to host your embeddings. And lastly, like similar to RAG, you get the response back again in a research-based outcome. There are two modes that are augmented in this deep research application. One is quick summary, and the second one is detail-oriented. With quick summary, you will have a short sort of oriented report, but with the detailed one, that's the one that you will get the chance of the most prolonged and detail-oriented research paper out of your all uh, query. And again, with enabling auto, this deep research mode will define what source of data is good for you to retrieve from that Wikipedia, PubMed, and all those resources that I showed you. And the rest is, again, you will have a language model that does two things. First, that language model generate follow-up questions based on your initial query to see what else is needed to augment this report. And also, it will analyze retrieved information from local or web to figure out if we need to add a specific or proper portion of that results from web or not and how good enough to call it a day and have the report ready. And lastly, before I forget, this application will actually create a SQLite database on your local machine because it is hosting and capturing a lot of logs like your query, your search results, your follow-up questions, so you will have end-to-end -end visibility on what's going on when you're waiting for your report to get generated. So enough talking, let me show you how I actually deployed it on my local machine. So here's a GitHub repository that I grabbed this application from. You just simply need to install local deep research, follow these command lines, and install Olama for pulling your um, local language model if you want to use actually local language model. So here in this example using Gemma, which is an open source model released by Google, and that's pretty much it. So going to my environment, you'll see that I, first of all, make sure you install Olama, and after that I'm pulling Mistral, you can also pull Gemma or any other model, and then run what you pulled. So now this local language model is listening to the queries that I'm gonna send. And that's the time you can now actually run uh, this application we just calling python app.py and before you do that make sure you go to the environment table uh, template copy that and add your api keys here actually which is very important make sure you add your setup api key this is the one i use as my search engine and i'm not using any language model provider so i just kept them as is and we just calling python app.py 
this is the file you need to actually run when you clone this repository so after doing so this is actually my application running right now on my local machine and I can start testing it out so let me say detailed updates about recent news on Gen AI. So I want to go with a detailed report and let's start researching. So you'll see that it is start actually generating follow-up questions. You can see searching for that's a follow-up question actually created for me and it identified okay I need to actually go through these sources to grab the data. And here you can see it is generating much more follow-up questions and then analyzing those results as well. So based on your type of query and nature of that research, it might take a while, but for me, it's tend to be pretty fast. So 50% almost done. And I'll wait and see how long, how long it's going to take. And I will show you the final result shortly. All right, it was pretty fast. It almost took around one minute to two. As you can see, it captured. And again, all these logs and those follow-up questions stuff has been captured in a SQLite database. And you can see that it outlined a research summary for me with the report and also specifying the sources that has been added if I scroll the way down. So again, this is actually a testing-based application when I was checking the repository. So there might be updates coming in. It is fully open source. And I thought that actually that's a great way to start having an application running locally in case if you have some privacy concerns or actually constraints that you want to have these deep research components running locally in a machine. This is a good way to start. And the code is fully open source. You can check it out. It's flash based. You can modify that from the UI perspective and backend perspective to your own specified components and make it better and customized for your own application. So my whole goal was just showing this other possibility and I hope it was helpful. If yes, I appreciate if you consider liking the, the video and sharing your thoughts and suggestions on the comment section. Thank you so much.